Thank you, Taylor. And as we continue our election coverage, we're taking a look at a position that follows the money, the Auditor Controller Clerk of the County. And as Kern currently handles a $3.5 billion budget, the Auditor Controller has a huge responsibility, but tracking the funds isn't all they do. 23 ABC's Kristen Vartan joins us live in Studio B with more after speaking with the incumbent and the candidates. Kristen. Brianna Mary Bedard has been Kern County's Auditor, Controller, Clerk, and Registrar of Voters for a decade. She tells me it's time to pass the position to someone else, and that position will either go to her second in command or a new choice altogether, someone who was almost not on the ballot. I am answerable to the public and to the taxpayer, and we want to make sure that we are uh, process, you know, handling the uh, taxpayers' dollars um, in accordance with, with the law, with the, the policies, as I say, is, is the budgets that are set by the board. Safeguarding the taxpayers' dollars. That's what Kern County Auditor Controller Clerk Mary Bedard says has been her charge. After almost a decade in the office, two candidates are vying to take over the role. Assistant Auditor Controller Amy Espinoza and local businessman Mark McKenzie. Espinoza has been in her position for almost three years and has had 16 years of experience working for the county in government accounting, budgeting and reporting. The current incumbent Mary Bedard is retiring after almost 10 years in this position and 30 years with the county and you are the next in line in a way in your position. Mm -hmm. We also have someone outside of the elections office, Mr. McKenzie running. We also know that Mary Bedard initially did not believe he met the qualifications for the role mm -hmm. and they even took it to court. He took it to court specifically. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that? Do you think that he's qualified for this position? Um, I think that Mr. McKenzie has an impressive um, resume. He has um, a couple of master's degrees and he has multiple certifications. Um, he is not an accountant and the number one chief accountant of the county to not be an accountant, um, to have never worked as an accountant. Um, you know, it's fine to understand accounting theory, but to never have that, that actual experience, um, I, I personally feel because of the work that I've seen and I know the work that I've had to do um, could be detrimental. The Kern County Superior Court judge ruled in favor of McKenzie, allowing him to make it onto the ballot. And according to McKenzie's campaign, he's had 30 years of experience in accounting and handling budget proposals for major construction projects all over the county. He says he's handled the financial profit and loss responsibility for a multi-billion dollar construction company before running his own construction tech business that he founded. I know this county and its people. I understand budgets, bids, and careful use of dollars. California law states, the auditor controller clerk acts as the chief accounting officer of the county and the chief auditor of the county. Money comes in from the taxpayers. We allocate it out to all the different uh, governmental entities in the county, not just the, the county of Kern itself, but to the, to the schools and the districts. Um, so we are actually the auditor controller for all of the government entities when it comes to property taxes. And of a county of almost a million people and a current budget of $3.5 billion, it's a lot of ground to cover. Espinoza says their office is short-staffed right now and that it's been hard to find county accountants. Oftentimes, Mary Bedard and myself, we have to get into the weeds. We have to be able to assist our staff or sometimes take on assignments on our own to make sure that work gets done. And accounting is not all the auditor controller is responsible for in Kern. The elected official is automatically the registrar of voters, too. As 23 ABC political analyst Dr. Ivy Cargyle points out, only four of California's 58 counties combine the roles. In recent years, Kern County has grown and it is is gonna, it's going to continue growing. And so therefore, um, you know, in previous years and previous decades, it made sense to combine the two, um, whereas I don't know where people might be feeling now in regards to um, separating the, the positions, because I know in a majority of the state's counties, the positions are separate. 
And Espinosa shares that if elected, she wants to do an additional countywide audits for high risk areas like cash. And typically, departments get audited every two years. She also wants to make financial reports online easier to navigate so the public can feel more confident in the department's transparency. And now we did reach out to Mark McKenzie for an interview, but he said he was not available by newscast time. But his campaign does say he'll provide fiscal responsibility, transparency, and accountability. And tonight at 6, we'll talk more about that other huge position in the Kern County Auditor Controller's Charge, the Registrar of Voters. Live in Studio B, Kristen Barton, 23 ABC News, connecting you.